Good morning again and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. Actually going to put in a little time on the lawn dart today, working on the parachute mount, and then uh, I think my laptop might be at home. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to actually do a test fire on the parachute as far as the uh, automatic firing through some of the holly stuff, but that'll have to wait. But anyways, I've got a mount to fabricate. Uh, Dick's gonna come in and he's gonna work on the rear window. So we're gonna try and get some of that knocked out. See if we can get this thing headed to the track. So what we've got left on this thing, I still have to do that panel right there, which I actually kind of fabricated a custom, a little bit of a custom tool here using another tool. So this is actually a, chain breaker sometimes you got to make some custom tools this piece so this piece right here is the custom part and what i'm using it for is pushing a dimple into some sheet metal so a rivet will sit flush with the top of uh, the panels that we're that we're using so This is basically what we do with it here. Make sure we're on camera. And let me get a wrench. So, might be a little, well, might be a little rusty, but you can see the little dimple it puts in there. And for the application that we're actually using it for in the car, it's going to be holding a Zeus spring so that that middle panel back there is removable. But just some of the stuff I end up doing around here for doing stuff custom. So, Starting to warm up a little bit. About to come out of this this deal here. It was like in the upper 40s this morning, and it's gonna get, I think 82 was the forecasted high for today. More complaining about the weather. I know. That's fine. That's just what we do. And then in the summer, I'm gonna be complaining it's a million degrees, and you guys can all be like, well, it's nice where we're at. So stop it. When it was freezing where we're at, you guys were complaining it was cold and it really wasn't cold. Anyways. Let's get to work.
All right, so the last part of the parachute mounting setup is we need to anchor the parachute cable kind of close out here. Like we're gonna do some kind of anchor basically off of that right there. Then it will wrap around and we'll shorten this cable in a minute because you can see it's a little long right now. We've made this little, little clamshell. You can see fits this. And I just actually secure it with a couple of good quality zip ties. I'm going to put it somewhere about here. So I need to fabricate one little bracket. Made sure it clears the bolt. Because this is how we wind up the spring. Which I'll show you that here in a minute. So after I put this on, I'm going to take the spring mount off. I will actually install the parachute bag itself. Then once we do that... I will test fire this and show you guys why I prefer the spring because it uh, rockets the parachute out and you'll get to see that in just a few minutes. All right, how about some live action welding? So I think we'll position it something about like that. This is going to end up here. down to reassembly stage. So there's our mount. Parachute pack may be a little wiggly, but the anchor is nice and solid. All right, so one thing I do to make winding these spring parachutes a little easier, I actually welded some 3 8 coarse thread. It's a bolt with two nuts on it. All of them are kind of tacked together, which I don't know. Yeah, you might be able to tell. But it's still smaller than the actual shaft that the parachute tether winds up on, like the spring tether. See this, so that goes down in there and wraps around that shaft. Yeah, and then that's how we wind up. That's how you wind in the pair of the spring. 
Well, that thing's got a lot of force on it. So I came up with this little deal a little while back. Let me just get it wound in there. This goes through once I'm, once I'm wound in. Just clanging everything around. First step, just put the guide in. Now, we can wind this thing in. Only slightly scary winding this big bouncy spring in. All right, so now the spring is wound up inside the can. So we take the guide out. And we are going to put this through here. We're gonna put it all the way through. There. So now this shaft is holding holding the spring tension and now so you take this out and it goes boing see how that's in there and now so this parachute is already it's already packed but maybe later when we take this this car or one of the other cars to the track, I'll show you guys how to repack one of these. I'm a big fan of Stroud parachutes. The tether I want down towards the bottom. And I probably left this a little too long, but you'll you'll still get the idea. That's gonna go down through there. I always do the last flap with the side where the cable was pulling from. And I may have to use the T-handle here. Just for temporary. I'm gonna stick that through there for now. And before I cut the chute, I'm gonna flip the handle out. So now the inner cable is pulled, pulled back in there a little bit. Leave it just a little long, just in case I miss this. All right, so we've got this little bit jobby that threads onto here. And actually, I might, yep, I, I had Dick threaded the wrong thread, but maybe it'll work. 
for a picture. So you gotta smooth the end of that so that it doesn't tear your cord up coming out of there. Probably shorten that a little bit more before you go down the track. You see, you gotta take and put the tension, spring tension, on the parachute back. Mm. That didn't really go anywhere. Alright, so now for the fun shot. I think I'll even I'll even open up the door for this one. All right, so first time firing parachute on the lawn dart. Got the other camera back there. Parachute handles all the way back. Flip the chute. There we go. Yeah, yep. Yeah, took off my little thing. I thought that was a little, a little too tight, but or a little too loose on the threads. We'll fix that. As you can see, shoots it way out behind the car, and the idea is to get it out in the airflow where it can slow the car down quickly. But that's why I like the spring launcher parachutes. They shoot way out behind the car and get the parachute deployed very fast. They are a little heavier than the air launcher parachutes like we're going to use on mullet. But man, do they get the parachute out behind the car and get it to where it deploys very quick. Didn't get quite as much done as I thought I was going to. A lot transpired during the shooting of that to where kind of kept me away during the day. You can see uh, Dick's got the rear, the rear window fit really well. Nice and tight. So we're gonna come back and put screws through that next week. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.